Performance Solero Eclipse Panel System Installation. Begin by cutting the pack pole to the height of your ceiling. Connect the first two panels onto the pack pole and fasten with strips. This will create a freestanding L shape. Insert the five small corner strips at the top of the pack pole and hammer until they reach the bottom. Once the corner has been stabilized, you are ready to add your next panel. Connect any remaining panels and add strips to the front and back. This is your two-way pole. It is used to create a left or right 90 degree corner. Fasten with one strip on the back. You are now ready to add your 90 degree corner panel and fasten with strips. Add subsequent panels if your design requires. Your final step will be installing the end caps and top trim. Top trim is included with all Solero Eclipse panels. If you are adding power to the raceway, you will begin by installing the power block holders. Once the block holders are installed, we are ready to prep the power modules. The circuits arrive preset and numbered. I don't think we're missing anything. Simply click into place. Um, One shared. Insert the module onto the holder by aligning the grooves and sliding into place. You are now ready to add your connector harness. Please note that all installs will require different lengths of harnesses. Feed the connector harness through the leg supports and connect to the power module by clicking firmly into place. The connector harness has an arrow imprinted on it. This must be in the up position. Repeat the process until all harnesses and power modules have been connected. You can now knock out the notches on the kick plates and remount. If your plan calls for a base feed, you will be inserting the starter harness at the bottom of the pole and connecting to the back of the nearest power module. If your plan calls for a top feed, insert the starter harness from the top of the pack pole. Pull through to the bottom and connect to the back of the nearest power module. Solero Eclipse panels come equipped with data ports. These are usually installed by the customer's IT technician. Look at this. Man. Power. 
You are now ready to install your work surfaces. Begin by installing cantilevers. Ensure that your cantilevers are installed 28 inches high off the floor. Okay. Ensure all cantilevers and supports are level. Lay out your work surfaces. And secure from the underside. The installation is now complete. The final step is to connect the power to the unit. This must be completed by a certified electrician.